How you guys doing, Eric here? Today is Saturday, July 2nd, 2016. Kind of a cool morning up here in Gilpin County. I'm actually having to wear a sweatshirt this morning because it's like in the 50s and a little breezy. Man, it's not bad. Considering what it could be this time of year, as we start out the 4th of July weekend here, the big 4th of July weekend when we're all supposed to celebrate our our American, great American country, go around wa raving our the red and blue flag of death, watching our fireworks, par celebrating our great country, uh, this, we're supposed to celebrate this, this freaking bunch of psychopaths that go around the world and freaking steal everything and make us fucking buy it back from them at their profits. Uh, brainwash us t to go do, the, do their dirty work for them. Yeah, that's what we're celebrating today. These fucking psychopaths that came to this continent fucking whatever hundreds and hundreds of years ago and fucking killed everything and stole everything for themselves. Put up fences everywhere and stole all the resources and made everybody else buy them back from them. Yeah, great fucking place, huh? <laughs> but yeah, what's going on this this 4th of July? Oh man, it's, it's crazy this weekend. Uh, you know, as usual, as you would expect, for the you know, as less as it as everything goes lately, this freaking the terror threat, right? Of course, <sighs> it's just out of control. Well, we've had we've had three attacks, you know, in the last month that are pretty big. You know, some fake, some real, all probably psyops. But yeah, you know, there was the Orlando, and there was the. Then this the other day there was or last week there was the uh was it Turkey Istanbul and that man that one looked real man I don't know what about the I think the narrative I don't know about the narrative but man that looked pretty fucking gnarly and that guy blew himself up man those bombs go man it's kind of interesting to me how they'll they'll show that kind of freaking graphic violence when it happens in other countries but when it happens here in America, there just doesn't seem to be any footage that they can show us, you know? Like Orlando, nothing, right? We can look at all, Sandy Hook, any of them, man. There's just, there's no footage of anything. But you look at these big attacks in other countries, man. They got all kinds of footage, man. Graphic violence of people being fucking blown up. But never here in America, it makes me believe, you know? The, the psyops happening here in America are probably more fake. There might be a few real ones, but mostly they're staged fake gun grab psyops going on. And, you know, domestic. Now they're, they're tying all, you know, of course they're tying it all together with some of the latest psyops. They tie all, all their agendas together. Domestic terrorism, Islamic terrorism, fucking gun control, LGBT, they're using all these, all these agendas into rolling them up into one big fucking psyop burrito, fucking <laughs> jamming it down our throats, saying, here, buy this, yeah, now we're going to have to take more of your rights away, but yeah, you know, you're seeing all over the country, you know, the news this morning, man, it's just fucking, the spin doctors are freaking spinning out of control, fucking flopping around like a bunch of fucking fish with their heads cut off. Fucking terror, terror, th alert, alert, threat. It's, you know, this makes me kind of wonder, man, there might, there could be, possibly be a threat. This, there could be a terror attack. I mean, that, it's possible, man. It, it might happen, but they sure are freaking, oh, they do it every, they do it every, you know, every year. They attack us on the 4th of July. The Muslims will attack us on our, on our most greatest of holidays to be an American 
because they hate us so much for our freedom. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. You know, the same fucking shit over and over every year. And then they show all the... What do they show in the news? All the fucking soldiers at the airports. Well, they're... I guess they're technically police officers, but they fucking... They're, they're dressed up in full fucking military regalia walking around with fucking automatic rifles and fucking weaponized dogs fucking talking about keeping us safe. Uh, we're supposed to feel safe when we see these guys with their fucking hand, with their finger right next to the trigger of their gun. Uh, as we go into the get our nuts grabbed by the TSA. Not just in the airports, they got these assholes walking like all over New York City. Fucking areas blocked off with fucking soldier cops looking like soldiers with their fucking armored vehicles and fucking it's just this big show of force, man, you know? Basically what it is is just a, you know, showing the, getting the people used to it, man. Having like a military force on the street, whatever something happens, you know, it doesn't have to be anything happened, just a fucking holiday what kinds of crazy shit going on, man. As I heard yesterday, there was like a shooting somewhere and then they, they said, it, they said, oh, there was a, there was a drill scheduled for that place that day, but now the shooting has gone real. Really, there was a, there just happened to be a drill scheduled there for that day, and then all of a sudden, no, but now but this is a this is a, a real life tr- action. This is not a drill. Like, you know, so this just goes. It falls into the same fucking mold, right? A drill set up, scheduled for that day, and some kind of fucking shooting occurs for real, huh? But that's what's fucking going on, man. The same fucking pattern in these attacks, right? You know, they show you all the graphic violence when it happens in other countries. But not when it happens in England or France or the United States. But when it happens in Turkey, man, they'll show you the whole thing. And it happened in Russia, they show you the whole explosion, right? It's, I just find that kind of we- interesting. And, but yeah, the, you know, it's the same shit's been going on since fucking 9 11, man. All the attacks. You know. There's only been, like, one fucking successful attack in America, really, I think. Supposedly successful fake attack, which was the Boston Marathon bombing, right? That's the only one I can think of that actually ha- occurred. But but we all know it was fucking fake as fuck. <coughs> and, uh, and then they call this Orlando the, the, the biggest terror attack since 9-11, right? So... That's what's going on this 4th of July week, right? The whole week, man, it's just been hyping it up, hyping it up, the, the terror threat. As more attacks started happening, they can just really, really hype it up for this 4th of July weekend, you know? And make everybody supposedly, very, nobody I know is really afraid of the Muslim threat or any other kind of fucking terror threat. But it's all over the news, man that and fucking severe weather fucking flooding all over the fucking world Las Vegas, Nevada of all places it's fucking I used to live there for a while and I've seen some floods there man that place gets fucked up (laughs) when a flash flood comes through and cars start washing away (laughs) people end up washing away because they just don't know what the fuck to do (laughs) And then there's all, all kind of tornadoes, fucking destroying shit in the Midwest. So, yeah, the, the weather manipulation, I think, is going on big time this weekend. Is when it gets this cool here, this time of year, you know someone's going to lose a trailer in the Midwest by a tornado. Is, uh, that's what happens, man. This, this cool air funnels down along the Rocky Mountains here, and it feeds these fucking fucking deadly thunderstorms in the Midwest, so there's, they're already talking about that. It's been going on. What else? Uh, was okay. The news this morning, there was this friggin' uh, bill about, what was it? Oh, man. I just lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, climate change. That, we're on that subject, kind of weather manipulation. And uh, 
Yeah, they're trying to pass a law where you could be sued for being a climate change denier. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I'm sure that'll that'll happen. But they're arguing they're arguing, well, you know, if you could be a, a climate change denier and get sued then a friggin' a climate change hyper could be sued too, like Al Gore. Like, huh, that's kind of an interesting argument. Because according to Al Gore, we should have all been underwater by now. <laughs> we should have fucking oceanfront property right here. According to Alvin. <laughs> but, yeah, so what the fuck? Just freaking nice weather, man. I gotta say that even though it's way cooler than average here in Colorado, it's, I think this is a lot better than, than sweating in the heat. So this this weather map manipulation is, is in our favor this time, but other parts of the country are getting fucking nailed. Floods, tornadoes, fucking heat waves. There you go. Person. Stay. Oh yeah, of course this 4th of July weekend I've been hearing a lot of is, you know, for the last few days, because I, I, you know, I listen to like the local fucking talk show radio, Fox fake news channel on the morning when I drive to work and, you know, they all fucking spew the same shit that, they, that you see on the TV. They all get the same fucking stories every day. You know, I'm sure it's the same all over the country. And, you know, over the last couple of days, police are going to be really cracking down on any sort of intoxicated drive. I mean, if you even got a contact high, you're going to get a DUI this weekend. You know, the usual fucking checkpoints they're talking about. DUI. I don't they really talk about DUI checkpoints too much this year, but they know they're going to have them. I'm sure they're just not really... They're, they're talking about the police presence, you know. They'll be around everywhere. There's a fucking 4th of July celebration going on. They'll, there's going to be a police presence. You can believe that. And they'll be fucking all in body armor and fucking protecting the public, right? And uh, fucking fucking with people for any little thing. If you're trying to be out at the campgrounds, they're going to be coming around. The rangers will be going through your fucking shit. Searching you. Fucking... Handing you citations for any little fucking thing anymore. You can't do anything. You know, you can't fucking even have a beer anymore at the campground. You know, so when they come and now they come around and fucking they find a little beer, find, find some weed. They fucking crucify you, man. I've seen it, man. It's fucking, it's, it's shitty, man. I won't even go out into the fucking parks during the fucking... I try to stay away from any fucking public parks, fucking recreation area because of that, man. These fucking rangers and police, and they get somebody with something, you know, maybe they're having a few beers, or fucking smoking a little weed or something, and they just fucking crucify them, man. Like, treat them like they're fucking El Chapo and his gang or something, you know? They got them all spread out in the parking lot and fucking all their shit laid out and fucking handcuffed. Fucking because maybe one of them didn't have a fishing license or something. It's fucking insane. I tell you, that's how it is around here in Colorado, man. They're fucking pricks. They go around during all the holidays and people are having, trying to enjoy themselves and fucking ruin everybody's good time. I'm fucking sick of it, man. Yep. I woke up this morning a little fired up, man. So you know what? All the fucking police state shit on the TV fucking all this fucking cracking down on fucking people trying to enjoy the fucking world pushing us into smaller and smaller areas you know more and more less access to the fucking wilderness and shit and pe people are noticing it man they're getting sick of it but that's what's going on man you can't even go out and have a fucking like we used to do when I was a kid man without the fucking pigs fucking coming and ruining your good time you know so i don't even bother anymore man if i can try to just find secluded spots and just stay away from it man because you go down to netherland for the fourth of july fireworks and there's fucking 
a big presence of police there every year, man. Fucking Netherland police with their lights all on and fucking Boulder County sheriffs are there and freaking state patrol and they're all fucking just fucking with people, man. Going around fucking handing out citations and arresting people for fucking trying to have, enjoy themselves. That and the DUI fucking checkpoints where they where they'll fucking arrest you for not having your proper papers, let alone fucking having anything to smoke or drink. So yeah, all that. Good times for this 4th of July weekend, man. All that shit going on, man. It's kind of... We're going to have a great time. <laughs> hey, maybe the sun will come out here in a little bit. But yeah. Maybe I will go see the fireworks in Netherlands anyways. Fuck them. But try to get my nephew to come up here and drive so I can have fun have a couple drinks celebrate celebrate what <laughs> it's not I'm, I'm definitely not celebrating the fucking corporation fucking empire of the United States that we're supposed to be proud of and wave our fucking red white and blue flags of fucking death and war I just I guess it's just a celebration of life, more than anything, of the summer, and getting together with friends and shit. Anyways, that's what I got for this week. Don't let my negative attitude ruin your 4th of July. And have a great weekend. We'll talk to you guys soon.